Hello my fellow comic book collectors, uh, this is going to be uh, another unboxing. <laughs> um, I got three packages here uh, that, um, you know, it's a small unboxing actually because there's just, I believe, just one comic per box, but it should be an interesting one. Uh, it'll give you maybe some insight into my childhood, I don't know, <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. I think you'll, I think you'll find it interesting. I'll actually start out with uh, the one that I think is possibly the most interesting, but we'll see what the other ones have. Um, but this one I, I'm kind of, you know, excited about, and I'll explain why. Um, this one is um, in crappy condition. It, it's, <laughs> it's in really bad condition. It's actually hard to find this one in a good grade. I, I've been searching for this one, and the only, and the, actually, this is one that I saw on eBay for, oh, at least a year. <laughs> like, this has been sitting on eBay for a year. And I never really bought it because um, I just didn't like the condition. Um, but I just never saw it come up in a better condition. So um, because of that, I ended up saying, okay, I'll just, I'll just get in this low condition. And later I'll pick it up again once I find a higher grade. If I ever find a higher grade. Um, so with all that said, uh, I'll show you why I got this comic and I'll explain a little bit about it. So this is a very odd name. It's uh, Gerard McBoing Boing <laughs> and the Nearsighted Mr. Magoo. Okay, that's the title. I believe this is uh, number one of that series. There's a, it's actually a series of comics. And this is the first appearance of Mr. Magoo. Now, when I was a kid, uh, you know, the movie theater, like, I lived in a small town. And there was two movie theaters. And uh, they would always play, like, little uh, cartoons before the movie actually started. And... I don't know why it was either Pepe Le Pew like was a really common cartoon that they would play or Mr. Magoo Mr. Magoo all it seemed to be always like I'd walk into the movie theater and Mr. Magoo would be playing on the on the screen and you know it's almost the same story every time you know Mr. Magoo is nearsighted he kind of walks around very precariously you know things are about to kill him at any moment but be, and he's because he's blind and he's just walking into dangerous areas or driving dangerously or doing something crazy. Um, and it's just kind of a funny uh, kind of situation, very, uh, uh, you know, slapstick kind of humor. Well, not that's slapstick, but, you know, uh, very, uh, that kind of uh, physical humor, I should say. So, uh, yeah, just an interesting character from my childhood that I really liked. Um, <laughs> I always thought Mr. Magoo was interesting. So if you look at this one, he's like, he's like thinking that he's on the telephone, but he's actually using a fire hose. You know, that's the kind of level of things that he would do. Um, so just, you know, kind of interesting. I liked Mr. Magoo. I wish I could find a higher grade of this. I just don't know why. It's always been kind of a low grade that I could find. That one... As you can see, it's kind of mangled. Like, look at just look at the big chunk out of it. It's kind of sad, but you know, I'm just glad to have it in my collection. I I really like to have those first appearances of characters that I loved as a child. So that I believe is a fairly old book. Um, I believe it's from 1950s. So it's it's a old uh, maybe even early. I th I believe it's, I'm not sure if it's Golden Age, but I think it's, I think it's Silver, Silver Age comic. Okay, so this next one, <laughs> okay, this is interesting. Okay. So, uh, probably you're very familiar with this comic. This is a little bit more of a modern age comic, but it's, it's a kind of a, you know, a key um, one sec here. I'm trying to get it out of all the tape. Okay, so this is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number three hundred and sixty. 
Now, everyone knows 361 because that's the first full appearance of Carnage. Well, 360 is the cameo of Carnage. So I thought I should pick this up before it gets too, too hot. Uh, I still didn't have this in my collection for whatever reason. I really should have because I had 360, like before my wife got me selling a whole bunch of my comics in the in the 90s, <laughs> I actually had 361, I had 300, I had all the major keys, and then I sold them. It was kind of sad. But uh, I didn't ever have this one in my collection for whatever reason. I have his first uh, like uh, appearance uh, of the character, but never the first appearance cameo, or um, I had the first full appearance before as well, but... Uh, this is the first time to have a cameo in my collection. So I'm just gradually getting all the major keys out of my Spider-Man collection complete. I think I only have like one or two left that I need to get. And then I'll have all the major keys from the Amazing Spider-Man run. So this is kind of one of those keys that I didn't have, which is Amazing Spider-Man uh, 360. I just actually, just as a side note, I uh, haven't received it yet. But uh, I won, uh, over the weekend, I won Amazing Spider-Man number three, which is a much bigger key. Um, but that is a one that's coming in the mail probably in a month. Uh, I, I let the auctions build up a bit. But that one is definitely a major key. Uh, because it's like, you know, a first appearance of Dr. Octopus. And that's one that I'm waiting for that will come in the mail. And that was a big auction win for me. And a bit, bit pricey. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, definitely one I wanted before it became way out of my price range. Uh, because that was one that had gone up quite high. And there is talk that Miss Dr. Octopus is going to be in the next Spider-Man movie. So I kind of wanted to make sure I got that one before it got priced out of my, my range. Even the one I got <laughs> was pretty expensive. Um, and it was a low grade. So expensive and a low grade, which is not a good combination. Um, so yeah, so this one is very well taped. <laughs> I was trying to like give a story while <laughs> I tried to slate through all this tape. Okay, and I got it, good, okay. So this one is, not sure what this is gonna be. So we had one's kind of Silver Age. Okay, it's interesting. So this is kind of a cool, cool comic, actually. Um, cool because it has a quirky character. I really like quirky characters. Um, and this one just happens to have a quirky character in it. This is a uh, high grade, actually, very high grade. Um, this is the new Teen Titans number what is it? Number 16. Okay. Now you're probably wondering what character <laughs> made their first appearance in this. Well, it actually says right over here, there's like a little mini comic inside, uh, instant collector's item from new DC and it's extra meet the incredible captain carrot uh, and his amazing zoo crew in the free 16 page preview comic. So there's like a little preview comic inside. Uh, and this just happens to be the first appearance of Captain Carrot. <laughs> so kind of cool, quirky character. I just thought it was cool to get his first appearance. And the thing that I think is kind of interesting about this is um, the new Teen Titans with Starfire and Cyborg and all, you know, they made their first appearance in another comic where they were the mini comic inside it, it, it's uh right up there actually the uh what is the number on it i always forget i believe it's dc comics presents 26 i believe i can barely see the number my eyesight's terrible um so yeah uh so that's where they made their first appearance so it's kind of interesting that they kind of paid it forward and they introduced another character in their comic which is Captain Carrot. So that was it for this unboxing. Just a short unboxing uh, but I thought you know some kind of cool comics very <laughs> varied in terms of what's in here. You got first 
uh, Carnage, and then we got the first Captain Carrot, and the first Mr. Magoo. So very different genres. Um, but yeah, I thought it was kind of some cool things that I liked. Um, as you can see, I like quirky characters. Mr. Magoo and Captain Carrot, pretty quirky characters. Carnage is kind of mainstream, but but yeah, hey, <laughs> I like a variety of comics. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my giveaways. I will put a link in my description for my Instagram as well, and for the giveaway. So um, check those out. Thanks for watching. Bye.